everybody, it's Rick Finna with Garden of Herbs and today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite herbs and that's holy basil. Some people refer to it as Tulsi but it's an adaptogen herb and to me I just call it a feel-good herb and I'm going to explain why I really think of it as a feel-good herb and like I said it's an adaptogen and adaptogens and holy basil really help us to feel better. And I'm gonna to refer to my um, notes, so that's why I'm gonna look down. I've included it in my top 10 herbs that you can grow in your backyard. It's a beautiful plant, number one. Um, it's green and it has little flowers on it. But um, an adaptogen, um, this, adap this one in particular, um, helps you to relieve um, some emotional stress. And this one, um, particularly um, for, for everybody, um, it helps with your cortisol levels. Um, sometimes when you're feeling really stressed, um, it helps you to relieve a lot of stress. Um, and other hormones in your body, when they get out of balance, um, sometimes when you're having problems sleeping, um, over time, um, you know, you, you have many different things going on. Sometimes it may just be one thing that gets out of balance, and um, sometimes you have, you'll notice several other things going on in your body. But over time, sometimes it's over days, weeks, and it even falls into months. Um, your cholesterol can get off balance, your blood pressure can get off balance, several other, other things can get out of balance, and um, this is what leads into um, disease. And so this is why it's great for helping with anxiety, your adrenal fatigue, it helps calm, you know, uh, people have different things that go on in their body. Um, and. I'm just going to start naming off some things that you may notice in your life um, and this is a different herb that um, in a video and, and I'll I'll post it uh, a video back I talked about an herb that you can only use for a short time and that's echinacea there's some other herbs that you can only use for a very short term and then you need to get off of them this is not one of the herbs you can use this herb for a long period of time. And that's why I really, I love this herb. And, you know, sometimes you need an herb for longer periods of time because you have things going on in your body you're not really sure about. It was not long ago. It was a, um, a little over a year ago before I found out what was really going on and I had some, some issues going on in my body and I thought it was my cortisol. And it kind of was my cortisol levels because when you have hormones, you have hormones throughout your whole body. And I started at the top and worked my way down. I had some sort of cortisol levels that were going on, but it wasn't the root of my problem. Sometimes you need to start in one area and work your way down. So, but some people like this one with your anxiety, when your anxiety is very high, it can um, knock you out of balance. And with holy basil, which holy basil's being used primarily in India for thousands of years, um, they drink it several times a day. It's called Tulsi tea. Um, it can put you back in balance very quickly. Uh, but your adrenal fatigue, um, some people use ashwagandha, which I use ashwagandha myself. Um, it's another supplement or it um, you can use it in different forms but I use it as a supplement um, it's a, in the vitamin form but you can also use it along with uh, to help if you're in adrenal fatigue but also uh, holy basil along with that but it also can calm your acne down or if you have other skin irritation um, your blood sugar can get off balance. Tulsi tea. Uh, I, it will also help in this um, 
you're stress released, you're sympathetic, and you're parasympathetic um, gets off balance when you're always tense and you're stressed and you know you're screaming at people in traffic all the time and that's not your norm. Um, it's called your flat or your fight. Um, you know you're not you're not you're just so stressed all the time. You know, Tulsi tea again um, can help you several times a day. So, are you are you always hurrying? Are you always trying to? Are you having a hard time resting at night? Are you not able to sleep? Again, Tulsi tea. So, this is all going on in our body, and this this is this is something that you want to take a look at over time. The great, the great thing about Tulsi tea, and um, I have holy basil right here, is you can buy it um, in, I, I think, some um, health food stores. I'm sure in some. But I buy mine um, if, it's, if it's not in season, you know, if you're not growing it in your backyard. You can get it through Southwest Botanicals, and that's southwestbotanicals.com. Uh, because they have it in the uh, tea bags and they also have it in the bulk herbs. And I just, I like the loose leaf uh, tea. It smells really good. It has a great uh, fragrance and it has a great taste. You can um, steep it for about five to 10 minutes and you can drink it. Um, you, there is a, the way that you wanna do it is drink it two to three cups a day um, preferably, um, you really want to drink it before you go to bed. It doesn't have any kind of um, sedative effects. It does relax you. You can mix it with chamomile if that's something that you prefer to do. Um, and it will relax you and help you sleep. You can drink it several, several days in a row, several weeks in a row. It also comes in a capsule form. Uh, because it's an adaptogenic, um, it will help you to uh, perform better um, and help you to not have that, you know, fight or fight. <laughs> it will help you have that restful, more calming, and think rationally and think more calmly. And um, it will also help you, um, you know, where you're you're more back to your calm self and perform better at work. It will also come in an essential oil and your essential oil, you want to just put it here behind your neck right here and your essential oil um, is really good um, to go along with your tea and go along with your capsules. Of course you want to consult a physician, a naturopath doctor will have more information on this but um, you can also consult your herbalist. Um, you can also uh, consult uh, aromatherapist. Aromatherapist and the herbalist will have all the information that you need as well as a naturopath doctor. Um, Tulsi tea or holy basil is a great way to get you back in the calm of life and relax you and this is a great time to do your own research. I'm an herbalist. I'm not a doctor. I just want to say that. Um, getting ready to close. It also is a great source for vitamin K. Um, we get our vitamin K from the sun, but it is also a great way. Uh, it is a fat soluble vitamin. Um, it's great for your brain function. Um, you know, it's great to go out and walk in the sunshine. It's, it's great to get oxygen. It's great to, you know, get all that stuff to our bodies. And it's great to drink tea and drink plenty of water. But it's also great, if you're not getting any of that, to get a natural supplement of Tulsi tea. I love it. It has helped me and my family tremendously. But... This is going to be one of my top 10. My top 10 herbs that I've got a series on is peppermint, mullein, echinacea, garlic, ginger, elderberry, astragalus. Of course, I'm, 
I haven't got my um, my hot peppers done yet, but I'll get that done. And then holly basil. Holy basil is going to be in there because it's a feel-good herb and that you can do it all the time. It's a great pick-me-up. It's a great feel-good herb. And I really hope you like this um, video and that you comment on it. I hope you buy you some holy basil. If you don't drink it, but just every now and then when you need a great pickup, it's there for you. It's a great friend to my family. <laughs> And I hope it's a great friend of yours. And um, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these videos. And um, we're going now into the winter months. And so <clears throat> this is a great time to get you some Tulsi tea. Bye for now. Have a great day.